My name is David Adaro. I first met Sinai right here on these holy grounds of Yeshiva University. Probably it was 1979. And I'll just tell you, I had never in my life met someone like Sinai. That remains true till today. When I first learned that Sinai was Nifter, it was via an email that his brother had sent out. And immediately, without even a second thought, I composed an email back to his brother telling him of the memories I had, of these incredible feelings I had, and funny episodes and different things that Sinai and I had been through. And as soon as I hit send, I had harata. I regretted it. Because what I said was what Sinai meant to me, not what Sinai meant to Klal Yisrael and to all of us. What came to my mind right after I hit send was a midrash that we had actually studied together. Okay, we didn't study it together. We argued it back and forth. But what it was, was about a businessman who had been very successful, who had ran into a colleague, a business partner from years ago, who had fallen on very, very hard times. And he was in a financial ruin, and he was begging this rich, successful businessman, please give me a loan. And after a while, he agreed, and he said, okay, I'll give you a loan for six months, and then I'm going to come collect. And it was a sizable amount. And after six months, he came to collect his loan, and the loan was repaid every penny. As a matter of fact, when he looked in the envelope to see the money, the wealthy businessman realized it was the same bills and the same coins that he had lent the man in the first place, and he was furious. And the point that Sinai was making was that's HaKadosh Baruch Hu giving us a neshama. He doesn't want back the same soul that he gave us. He wants us to nurture it. He wants us to grow it. He wants us to, to prune it and to plow it and to, grow, and, and to develop it into something special. And he certainly was successful at doing that. Yizichro Baruch.